Hello there and welcome back to the Beast Inside. Now, last time we moved into a new house, went discovering some a journal in the, locked away in the attic, hidden away in a loose floorboard, which you needed a bare crowbar to pry open. I wouldn't call that loose, but moving on. Found a lovely little journal, started reading the journal transport us back in our minds into the you know what was being written in the journal and a fucking horrific night of freaky ghost people and a guy in a mask point well first of all pointing us to the shed and then which then led us to the basement fuck the basement nothing good comes from basements so we made it out of the basement back up to the main floor of the apartment or house sorry not apartment house and were i wouldn't say even knocked knocked over basically we end up falling down the stairs through the bar through the barrier by the same guy with a mask who's coming towards us and that's where we left off with us starting chapter three back in modern i'm going to call it modern times it's the 60s but it's modern times we'll just call it modern times <clears throat> so first first part completely freak it freaked us out i've seen that part before though that's the thing joe says still got us even though i would seen this scene before however this time we are in completely uncharted territory because from this point on, I have seen none of it. I've no idea what's coming, no idea what the jump scares are gonna be, no idea of any puzzles, nothing like that. So we might be in for a treat. But anyway, enough rambling from me. We're gonna just jump straight back in. I'm not scared at all. I'm not scared at all. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Okay. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Oh, lovely. That's a lovely chapter title. A bloody welcome. Hold on. Forgot the controls already. Uh, this one looks unhappy. Don't worry, little buddy. You've got wings, so you can always fly away to a nicer place, unlike me. Hurry over. Honey? If I find you wearing a mask. That's what's still locked. Honey, where are you? Can I go back in here? Love should go back in the attic. Hi. Oh, it didn't break when I threw it. Oh, hidden message. Okay. An angel. Looks like he's sleeping, but he might be well as well be dead. Poor guy. Life's been rough on him. How long has he laid here? Probably for like a century. Oh. Someone must have hit him really hard to make the legs fall off. Wait, is that blood or paint? I'm going to assume blood. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Now, if you get that reference, you get that reference, and well, more power to you. Right, uh. Right, so the puzzle itself is gone. 
the other bits that were with the journal. Right, she was in the shower, wasn't she? My bedroom. Hello, my dear. What, wifey? Are you down? You gotta be downstairs. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? Hi. I better talk to Emma about it. Oh, really? Hello? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Okay. Uh, what? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This another fucking bit. Another work. basement. The sooner we really? Start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? No, you're a bit psycho. Uh, well, not really psycho. Sorry, that I'm. I take you know what, Emma. I take that back. I apologize. Just calm down a little bit. You see, it be a little bit like way on the. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Uh, could be because you're. Not being very nice. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Uh, re Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. I don't know why I'm reading it like this, but this is, we're just going to roll with it. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just going to sell it. As he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here. Raise your kids and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. Yeah, I don't know whether I would like my parents to decide my child's name. I'm going to do that, because when I turn the power on, the light's going to come on. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I'll get a flashlight. Oh. the attic. There's okay. a lot of junk in there. Okay, I'll, I'll gladly go back to the attic. Give me an attic over a fucking basement any day. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, oh, flashlight. In there. Alright, there's always an old TV. I've never known a lit, you know, an attic to have like a set of double doors in it. Oh. Oh, love. Oh, it's one of these flashlights. It's not new, not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. Can I just blind someone with it? Okay, I've done like the music change. Am I gonna like Can I have a weapon? Can I take I'm gonna take this with me. I mean, it's not going to do anything for us, but I'm going to take it with us. Hello? Oh, don't. 
fucking like this. I would have had the flash. Excuse me. I would have tested the flashlight before. Uh -uh. Oh, God's sake! <laughs> Don't you fucking do that! That immediately gave me the chills. Where are the fuses? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure I care to find out. Like I need I wanna get these fuses and get out of here as fast as humanly fucking possible. A box full of cash. Oh lovely. Can we have that? Can I take that with us? A little smiley face makes us think that it's a joke. Okay, that wasn't boarded up before. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Oh, lovely a shed. Oh, we're going to the shed. All right. Maybe shed a spare fuse in the shed by the house. I don't fucking like this. Not at all. I do not like the music. The music be giving me chills. Aha. You don't throw very far. You really don't. Only I'm going for fuses in the shed. Can I just run down that road? Oh. Red paint, lovely. Uh, I'd like to get in there, please. I think I might be going the wrong way. the wrong way. This music kind of reminds us of the uh, of the show. Oh, there we go. Speaking of Oh, I'm look here. We did actually. I got a copyright to claim on on the first episode of this. Please say that's paint. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What we did say shed. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? Oh, we've got another what looks like a puzzle. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Because I'm, I'm feeling kind of like fucking trapped in here. Okay. Let's go and have a look at this. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? A quantum localizer. Okay. Come into them with trust the author knew what he was writing about. Am I the author? Let's take that. Okay. The localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces, which... Okay. 
which enables us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I've never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd rather get a gun than an oddity from the eggheads at the CIA. Oh yeah, pizza. A pizza box covered in blood. Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Oh, that wasn't fucking Emma. That wasn't Emma. Don't be a face. Don't be a fucking face. Uh, 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 uh. I don't like it. 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 Something's not right. <clears throat> Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Do you get training for that? Right. Uh, press left D pad to equip unequipped device. Local localizer allows you to detect. I'm getting nervous. Can you tell? Look as it allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces, quantum clouds. I saw movement in the top left hand corner. This icon informs that the cloud is near. Press A to huh. continue. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Oh, lovely. That's just, I'm not, that's not going to be, that's not horrifying at all. Okay, so I'm going to wait, move in the direction of this. I should follow the localizer. The green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. Alright, so it's this direction straight ahead. This can't end badly at all. I'm not going to see this something horrifying. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Use the device to scan the cloud, okay. All right here. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I okay. have to find out what happened here. Well, this took a turn. This took a turn. They had this in the 60s? Oh yeah, it's heading to the house. Lovely. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Hello? Uh, find the quantum cloud. Okay. It says it's this direction. But it's not. The percentage isn't increasing, so I'm not like getting closer to it. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood. And a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Yeah, I mean, maybe get a gun or something, you know, because you know, I don't think this device is going to survive being hit across someone's head a couple of times. Okay, we've got another one. He's over in this little veranda thing. Well, I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Yeah, this is not nice. This is not, you know... Wrong angle. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. 
It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Okay. What game are we playing right now? Due to the nature, the clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you will have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easy by using B. Press A to continue. Destroy an anomaly hit with an EMP charge fired from a device. Hold right trigger, then release to fire an MP EMP charge. Uh, highlighted areas around the localizer screen indicate number of anomalies to be destroyed. I, I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. Okay. I'll try to find more traces. Uh, this can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where are we going? This way. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Okay. Let's just follow it then. I mean, she's, my wife's probably going to be pissed that I haven't found the fuses yet. And I'm off in the woods chasing. Chasing weird time portal signals and anomalies and shit. Oh, yeah, you're born. But yes, it's a nice sentiment, but if I was bleeding that much. I mean, I start off near the shed, and if I was bleeding that much, I would have gone to the house, which has the highest likelihood of actually having someone there. Maybe medical supplies, or maybe, uh, you know, food, water, some way to contact the outside world for help. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. Yeah, the giant chain probably lets you know that. Probably a bit of a giveaway. Oh. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that? <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Oh really? Okay. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, hello. Get the feeling we may end up finding something in here that's going to take us into the night time. Back into the past. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. There's something in there. Take it out. Okay, I'm gonna try this way and go around, maybe get across into the across the other side of the fence. Let's just uh let's just go for a run, shall we? going to use this I think we're going to use this to get up there yeah lovely right 
I'm not nervous at all. I also have no idea what the hell's going on. And why we're suddenly turned into spy, you know, gadgets and shit. Got one. No. Nope. Oh, okay, got one. There it is on top of the roof. Who is he? What did he hide here? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, lovely! At least we have a, a knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it just in case. Okay. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Wiggle the stick. There we go. So I know how that, I've just realized how that sounds. Eh. Uh, I need to try to get inside. We do. We're not going to cut through there with that chain. We're going to check this side. Because I have more rope. Got to move the stick backwards and forwards in order to saw do the actual saw in motion. You know, I'm less slightly less creeped out, like horrified than uh, uh... Ooh, so I have got the rope. Yes, I'm slightly less horrified than... Oh, I picked it up. All right. I didn't realize I picked that up there. What are you? That's a big turd. Hello? How do I get down here without breaking my legs? We're just gonna go for it. Let's just go for it. Out. That would be a deer. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher. More like a fucking sadistic hunter. Yeah, I'm just gonna move these now, just in case. Like, well, I know it's padlocked as well. But I don't want to be doing this shit when I'm freaked out. And we got the key to this. No. Okay. Uh, please don't be alive. Hi. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Uh, yes, I'll take that. Yes, I shall take that one. Uh, so that's holding these doors shut. Okay. Okay. I've got to climb up and get the... Ladder. I was wondering what I was having to throw up there. However, I'm going to try and just chop this... Let's just chop this off now. And that did precisely fuck all for us. Lovely. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. 
Could do it. We'll strike the ladder down. Hmm. No, we'll play it smart. Let's open that a little bit more for a start. Can I open this side? Let me open this side. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. Let's push the box. Let's not drag it. Because I don't want me going backwards in this place. I think he definitely used this. Drag that down. Hello? I'd like to throw the rope, please. There we go. Get it. Come on. Really? How come? I was aiming. Never mind. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore the, the fact that I was aiming at the same spot every single time there. dead but sorry mr dear please don't be a bomb i don't really don't really feel happy about doing this i'm sorry I don't know who would gut you and hang you up there and put something inside. Just oh, just shove your oh, hand in. Okay. Sick. I think I'm gonna puke. I mean, I will probably maybe try and lift at the edge. I don't know. Maybe try to find out what it is before you try and put it out. Oh, and a f oh, lovely. A fuse and something else. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. Yeah, but what's, the, what's the other thing? I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Fuse with an unknown device. Okay, let's uh. Oh, I was gonna say that wasn't open before. It's because the. It was being held shut. Right. Maybe just let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know if this. Is, I'm not supposed to be climbing down here. Well, we're dead, so okay. At least, oh, there's the house. Honey! I went on a, an adventure for a fuse. And she'll be pissed at me. Emma? Emma, where are you? Emma, my dear? Locked. Okay, Emma? Tell me you're not in the basement. Am I going to find you 
creeping around in the basement. Doing some freaky spider leg shit. You're not even going to shout out? Are you in the attic? Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, what's this? Uh, how much did the... Four? I paid those bastards in advance, so of course I didn't even bother to take those boxes fuse. to the attic. I better go home. I'm already home, dude. You can't trust anyone these days. Is that 640 US dollars or is that a nine? That's got to be a four. One, there wasn't enough box to warrant a moving van. Two, it was just fucking lazy. You could have gotten all those boxes in your car. Not that you deserve to be ripped off for 640 dollars, but you know. More fool you for actually paying someone to do it for you. Emma, please be in the basement. Actually, don't be in the basement. Torch. Now's the point I have to put the torch on. I wouldn't wait until I'm down at the bottom of the fucking stairs. If I find you in the basement, I'm going to be annoyed. I don't like... No. The power's back on, I guess. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? Okay, let's put that there. Could totally use that. To... Oh, it's... well, the wall's wet. I don't like the darkness. Jesus, <laughs> woman. You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, you know, I was expecting something like that. Do you, did you see before? Actually, where did you find it? Just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Where are we going to start? So yes, earlier on we don't want to came to walk past this door. Hey, box for the cash. And on your I like Darling, side side like side eye. I don't got a bit for you. Said. It's because I was expecting uh, someone to jump out of the basement. Of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? Oh, there you are. Hi. Fine. Could have changed clothes. It's night out nice outfit to you know too nice of an outfit to, you know, get messed with paint. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Give a good call. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? I mean, before you join. This the paint's CIA? going quite far, actually. Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, yeah, that's not something that really right? crosses his mind. I mean, he did find some weird, you know, not even going to mention. What are you staring at? 
Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Okay. I didn't finish the wall, but you know, I think I did a good job there. Well, doing a good. I think I did a good job with that. Don't you? Oh, lovely paint. That's a lovely painting. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd How about no? First. Uh -uh. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy. Rule number two. Basement. That's the you know what it is. Gentleman from the previous century. Don't touch creepy shit. We're gonna find. I'm gonna stumble across this in the basement when I'm moving around. It's gonna freak me out. That's a nice. Art. You know that the paint the the gops quite nice. I'm doing quite a good job decorating as well. I want to hurry up and get the phone. We've done a really good job in two days. It's very 60s. Hello. Hello. It's David. So Hi, David. This is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought... Maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because mm. you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. Ah, the Russian woodpecker. That, Harold A very good story. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, o on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make mm. it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. Okay. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. All right. And there goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. If it's if there's anything, okay. If there's uh, anything you know, if you work for the government, you don't have. There's no such thing as a vacation. You'll always find something. Where's the office? Though? I'm, I'm wondering where the office is. Ooh. I recognize his face, but by golly, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to guess his name. I don't remember his name. Did I make the office the basement? Thank. You. Oh, shut that door. Through this door. Ah. Ooh, this is nice. A puzzle. That's gotta be a puzzle. There's a cipher machine in the office. Can't put that off anymore. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm here. Took us a while to find, but I found it. <laughs> I will have a president as well, President Lincoln. Ah, still warm. Hmm? Emma knows how to get me on my feet. Oh. So, how do I do it again? I'll reset, First, okay. Let's take a look at the manual. 
Follow Enigma's instructions. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Open the top cover by holding the handle on the right side. Next, place the cylinders marked with the Roman numerals in the right slots. Position 1, 2, position 1, 4, position 2, 5, V, position 3, 8, position 4. Close the cover. Okay. Uh, I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. I completely forgot what I think. Uh, let's have a look. Right. Two, is it two? So two, four, five, eight. Two, four, five, eight. From left to right. Two, four, five, eight. Open. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Two, four, five, eight. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Okay, let's have a look at the cogs. Close the cover. Set the numbers in the windows to the following positions from left to right. 2, 14, 6, 22. 2, 14, 6, 22. 2, 14, Six twenty two. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Uh, right, so let's have a look at this for the wires. Open the bottom drawer of the device, plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration AFG ZRT. AFG ZRT. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. Uh, A. A, F. Okay, uh, G. G, Z. And it was FT, wasn't it? So F. Oh, I can't read FT. Hold on. RT. R. Look, where is the R? There we go. R. That's T. it. Now I just need to enter the password. Oh, lovely. Uh, right, so what's the password? Run test using a test password BP flop. After entering these letters, you should see a decoder message saying Friday. BPFLUP. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Oh, now you said that. Now I'm nervous now you said that. Right. <laughs> Do anything. BFP. BPF. Blue Peter flop. Blue Peter Flup, B F L U P B Blue Peter Peter F L U Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Cool, okay. I was nervous there. I'm glad I did that first time, you know. Wait, do What's I this? have to? 
Looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination I'll be able to decipher it. Now how do I set it up? A Roman 5-3-S-T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? Okay. How do we use it to set Enigma up? I have no idea. Uh, have I done me work? Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? Uh, row number one V. What else? I have no idea what I'm doing. V O three S T. V O three S T. Okay, so these are all things. So we need to find a num a row that has V in it. O3 and ST. Right. ST. Do we have any other ones? I'm flicking through these things. Right, so we've got that one. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So ST. Doesn't have an O3. It has a V though. So I'll cancel that one. The so next up. Is ST03 and a V, so it's 17. God, do I have to write this down? I've got to do the code now, haven't I? Oh, thank God I can see. I, I was wondering if I was going to have to write that down there. XGDTJ. X. Something G. wrong. Configuration, maybe? I should take a closer look at the table or password. Dang it. T. J. Number 17 looks correct. I'll use that configuration and see if my hunch is right. L. Okay, I'll get it. I've got it. I was right. I don't know why it didn't work for C. M. H A Y H M V Z M V Z B F Y D N Best friend you didn't not trust no one but yourself. <laughs> Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Okay, at least we got it. We got it. Now what? Check combinations twenty nine and thirty. Okay, here we go. We're we done. Still nothing. Fuck. Oh, hello. Guess we broke a draw. This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Oh, this is the one that was saw in the, in the shed in the in uh, back in the past. God, how long has this been here? Is uh, this way too fucking long? Blood? Or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It's gotta be it cold hurts, by now. So I must be alive. Damn it, I almost forgot. Okay. It hurts, so I'm alive. Damn it, I almost broke my neck. He took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this he didn't really look human or close when he rushed at me i felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me i've never experienced anything like that his gaze like an abused animal's that desperation in his eyes i was so dumbstruck i couldn't move 
I wanted to scream, but I felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What was he doing in my father's bedroom? Maybe it was dear old dad. I instantly don't like this. Where is he? Why am I up upstairs? It looks like I'm upstairs. Oh, I'm downstairs. I'm at the bottom what of the basement. What is he doing in our house? Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're in the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not quite ready for this right now. <laughs> we're going to have to, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut that, this episode here. Because that first bit, the bit obviously bit we've just done, took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. It's a lot, quite a long section. So we're going to jump into the horror, hopefully, next time. I instantly, I instantly don't like it. No, we're gonna leave that till another day. <laughs> Made some go progress. It's took a bit of a strange turn in modern day, with the whole the CIA tech. In the sixties, I didn't even know they had that type of stuff in the sixties. Looking back in the past and shit, very interesting. I'm assuming it's just fictional. <laughs> you never know though. You never know with the CIA. Right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here, feel free to come hang out. Come check out some of the stuff I've got going on. We would love to have you here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you again for all the support. It's always appreciated. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always, we'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.